welcome back to episode two of the Watergate Cake. So let's make the Austin. So I need a an ounce container of some Cool Whip. You can make your own whipped topping if you want to. Whatever you want to do. Package of pistachio pudding. <laughs> Our drained crushed pineapple, the half a can that's left of it. We're just going to mix it all together. It's going to be pretty like greeny color. Alright. See how simple that was? Now it's icing our cake. I've cooled it. And then we're going to put our icing on, our topping, I should say. Spread it out. Make it kind of like pretty. Need some over here. Okay. <coughs> now we're going to come with some coconut. They're sprinkling on top. Coconut. Some chopped up pecans. You can do walnuts. Whatever you like. Pistachios. And then we're going to top with some mini marshmallows. Mine are kind of sticky. It's real humid. Because you have um, marshmallows folded into your water gaze also. You're going to put a few marshmallows just to decorate the top. Okay, now I kind of want to cut in this cake so you can see. It don't get it look pretty. All right. Eat me a butter knife and a spatula. Now 
Now you store this in the fridge because it's got wet popping on it. Hardest to get the first piece out. Ta da! Look how moist and yummy that is. It's like a light green because all your pistachio, 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 pistachio pudding in there. So there you have a Watergate cake. I hope you try this recipe and let me know what you think. And have you ever had Watergate salad? I already have a video up on it on the channel. See you in the next episode of Simple Sarah. Bye, everybody.